Hi guys, now let's solve some PYQs on the ER model. So let's take a look at the first PYQ which is from GATE CSC 2024. So let the specification be, instructor teaches courses, student register for courses, courses are allocated classrooms and instructor guides students. Okay. So which of the following diagrams correctly represent the above specification? Okay, so they have given you four diagrams and now you have to tell which one of this correctly represents this specification that has been given. Okay, so let's see this. So the instructor teaches course. Okay, then student registers for the course. So let's start looking at one of uh, each one of them and see if they fit the description that has been given to us. So instructor teaches the course, right? So this is correct. So this is correct relationship. The instructor is teaching the course. So this is correct. Student registers for the course. So now this registration that they have given, right? They have given it as a, um, as an entity, right? But it should be a relationship between the course and the uh, student entity, right? So also student should be an entity over here, right? So here, this is the flaw, right? So this is not correct. Student should not be a relationship. It should be a entity, right? So this is incorrect. So this option is incorrect. Now let's look at the second option. So instructor teaches course. So this is correct. Now we have a project registers on course, right? So this is the relationship that they have given. Project is an entity, registration and course, right? But student registers for the course, right? So here, there is no mention of the student entity at all, right? So this is also incorrect, right? So this relationship is incorrect because it should have been a relationship between course and the students, right? So students should register for some course. Okay, so this is incorrect. Again, instructors guide the students. So this relationship is also incorrect because instructors are not guiding projects. Instructors are guiding uh, students. So these two things, these three things are incorrect. So this is also incorrect. Now let's look at the third option. So we have instructor teaches course. This is fine. We have student registers for course. This is also fine. Instructor guides students. This is also fine. Now we have classroom course and allocation, right? Now this is incorrect, right? This is incorrect because so classroom is allocated course. So this should have been like this, right? classroom and course would have the relationship allocation which is not there so this is also incorrect right so this should be the one which is correct but let's see we'll verify whether this is correct or not then we'll take it so we have instructor teaches course which is fine student registers for the course which is also fine instructor guides the student awesome and then we have classroom allocation and students so course and classroom are allocate are related with the relationship allocation so this is also correct so the answer is fourth one which is the d option so the answer is d fine okay now let's look at the next one from the gate cse 2024 so in the context of owner and weak entity sets in the er data model which of the following statements is true okay so they have given you four statements and they're asking you which of the following is true okay so let's see each one of them one by one so the weak entity set must have total participation in the identifying relationship. Okay. So this we know is right, right? So the weak entity set must have a total participation always, right? Because that weak entity is dependent on the identifying entity or the owner entity for its identification. So hence this is correct, right? So this A statement is correct. Now they have asked us which of the following statements is true but we should check the other one also. So this is MCQ, but let's check why the other options are incorrect. So the owner entity must have total participation in the identifying relationship. So this is not correct, right? Owner entity need not participate completely in the uh, identifying relationship. For example, if you have a relationship between employee and dependent, depends on, or say rather there is a dependent relationship, uh, employee has dependents, right? So one of the, so this is the owner entity here, owner entity here, this is the weak entity here, right? So here, what you have is this relationship has, and these are two entities over here. So an employee cannot have some dependents, right? So it might happen that some of the 
employee does not have any dependents for example the uh, so there could be reasons why the employee does not have dependents so if that happens then employee need not participate in this relationship any employee right so this uh, b option is incorrect so both weak and owner entities must have total participation in the identifying relationship this is incorrect right because we know that owner entity need not participate uh, totally in the identifying relationship and neither weak nor owner entity must have total participation this is also incorrect because we know that weak entity should have a total participation in the um identifying relationship fine right? so the answer is a okay fine now let's look at the next question which is from gate csc 2012 given the basic er and relational models which of the following is incorrect again this is an mcq question but we will check every option okay so base so we have to use e knowledge from er model and the relational models So an attribute of an entity can have more than one value, right? So an attribute of an entity can have more than one value. So this is correct, right? So an entity can have more than one value, right? So we know that say student is there, right? So this student can have a multi-valued attribute. So this is allowed in the ER model. So it can have say phone number, which is multi-valued, right? So this is allowed. An attribute of an entity can be composite. this is also fine we have seen this in the er model so these this is related to er model this is also related to er model in a row of a relation table now they are talking about the relational model so they are saying in a row of a relation table an attribute can have more than one value so this we know is false right so in relational data model we cannot have multiple values in a single attribute right so we can't have multi value attributes in the relation model so that's why this option is incorrect let's take a take a look at the option in a row of relation table an attribute can exact can have exactly one value or a null value so this is correct right so based on the domain we can either have exactly one value or the null value so this is correct so the only option which is incorrect is c option fine so the answer is c okay now let's take a look at the last pyq so gate csc 2008 Uh, they are asking us consider the following er diagram they have given you a very nice er diagram you have to find the minimum number of tables that are needed to represent m n p r1 r2 okay so you have m p n n there are three entities you have two relations okay so let's see so this is a strong entity okay so this is a strong entity so we are definitely going to have one relation for this so this let's say i'll have i'll say one relation for so we'll have definitely have one relation for m right m will have relation right now this m relation does not have any multi value attributes or any uh, multi value attributes so we don't need not break it down so m will have one relation okay now let's take a look at this p entity okay so p is also a strong entity because it has a primary key right so this p entity will also have one relation fine so this is relation 2 now let's take a look, look at n entity so n entity is a weak entity how do we know it's a weak entity because it's in a double square also it's connected to a double rhombus or a diamond right so this is a weak relationship or this is called identifying relationship identifying relationship right so this is a identifying relationship and we have seen how to we convert this to a relation model what we'll do is we'll have the table for this p entity we'll have the table for this n entity and we'll add the primary key of this p entity into this weak entity and as a foreign key and that will help us in identifying the relationship right we'll have a composite key of n1 n1 is basically the partial key partial key of this weak entity n so we have to create one table for this as well so we'll create one table for this as well so we have relation 3 right so this r2 relation it does not need a table does not does not need explicit table table right another thing that you should ensure is that the weak entity should be in total participation it is right so this is correct 
Now the only thing that we have to worry about is R one, right? So R one, R two doesn't need an explicit table. So does R one needs an explicit table? So let's try to understand this. So this is in total participation, right? So this is in total participation, and this is in uh, partial participation. So this is the many side, right? So this is n, right? And this is one. So this is many to one relationship, right? So now for the many to one relationship, if you are going to convert this, we'll put the uh, primary key, the foreign key in the uh, many side, right? So what we can do is if you have this m table, we'll have m where we'll have m one. M two, M three, right? M three. So here we have this P table, right? Which has P one, P two. So we'll make this P one here. We'll get this P one here on the many side. Anyways, this is in total participation, so we will get this, and this will reference this particular so, uh, primary key, right? So this is a primary key, and this is a foreign key. This will reference this, right? So we can do this. We have seen this in um, many to. So this is many to one relationship. So we always put the primary key or sorry, the foreign key on the many side. So we'll put it here. So this relationship R one also doesn't need an explicit re relation, right? And they are asking us about the minimum, right? So uh, there can be null values in this. So we don't care. Anyways, this is in total participation. So there will be no null values over here. so um this r1 doesn't need doesn't need explicit table okay so how many tables do we need we need three tables one for m one for p and one for n and obviously we'll add some foreign key constraints to represent r1 and r2 so the answer is b okay so the answer for this particular question is b